a, a lot of oral facial pain is chronic in nature. And chronic pain, it's been well documented, up to 50% can be placebo related. The reverse is true with placebo too, it's called nocebo. So in other words, if someone trusts the individual, they have a pretty good chance of getting better, whatever it means. If the person doesn't trust that person, i.e. nocebo, it's going to maybe create more obstacles for that person to go on a journey of improved health, them, health for themselves and physiology for themselves. Oh, the AOP is an amazing organization, absolutely amazing organization. And the irony of the whole thing is it's a, it's a long journey how I ended up getting involved because, again, I was primarily a restorative dentist and, uh, and I like doing prosthodontics. The irony of the whole thing, though, is it's made me a better restorative dentist. And the main reason is I listen more, I engage people, I ask them questions about, you know, what your problem is. I'm more sensitive to any discomforts they, that they have, maybe muscle soreness and whatnot. And it has just made <laughs> doing restorative dentistry and prosthodontics that much more predictable because it's a whole body care now as opposed to just being a dentist and interdisciplinary care. It's more of a multidisciplinary approach where I work in a team. I have a private office, but I work in a team with physical therapists and other healthcare providers as well.